Enzo, Diego. That's how Tiger should listen to you. What's going on? Hmm? Enzo? <laughs> yeah, these two boys, they play hard, but they listen even better. They are amazing. We're cleaning your place up on the other side. The pool will be clean just now. Hang on, 10 minutes. Well, that is how little Bella is trying on my socks. <laughs> and she just swung it around her little head. She's going to do it again. Swing on, Bella. Swing on. Let's see if she does it again. She's trying to put it on her head. <laughs> funny as can be. If you want to see something funny, just look at a monkey. <laughs> Come on, Bella. Swing it on over your head again. And look at this little one. Stop Chloe. Do you? Chloe. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> What's happening here now? <laughs> Swing it. Around your head. Don't go close to Lexi. She's going to bite your fingers. <laughs> they are funny as can be. Just playing having fun. Yeah, Diego. I didn't think I don't think Diego ever heard that before. But that was Enzo's voice. Enzo. Enzo key. Come. Come. Come Enzo. You've never experienced something like that, have you? Um it uh, done that a couple of times. Standing up straight with his head right down my head. Come Enzo. That voice of his is beautiful. Yeah. Make him do that again. <laughs> Make him do no. That no, that's that's his way of telling you. Let's yeah, say, that's, 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 that's what we don't want him to do. Reverberating my body. Into your bones. It's beautiful. Come well, Enzo Key. Yeah, he's just kicking me out now. <laughs> okay, so this is where I put some hot water into the chicken for the day. And now it will get served to the tigers and the rest goes to the dogs. And then 
I have cleaned up my kitchen. It is perfectly clean. Only this drawer, it's a pot drawer, but I've, well, I'm getting it ready for Mama Kitten. Because if she's going to have kittens, she's going to have them in style. She's got new, well, electric plugs. She's got granite countertops. <laughs> Vegetarian cat. Yeah, you made me say that. But in any case, Vegetarian Cat is sleeping there during the night now. And he's enjoying it. <laughs> what can I say? My house belongs to their pets. They live here. This is their place. So, kitchen is clean. Dogs and the tigers are waiting for me to get fed. So let me go. Because uh, I have to. <laughs> yeah, Vegetarian Cat. I hope you're the dad. <laughs> <laughs> that will teach me to eat a sucker while I'm feeding the tires. <laughs> right guys, let me just get my voice back. Okay, so they are ready. Okay Diego, are you ready to get angry? Come on, show us how you get angry. <laughs> Enzo, he's just playing with him. Okay, there you go Enzo, you go eat on that side. Okay, Diego, here's yours. Get angry. That's it. Oh, no, no, look what happened. Okay, I'm not going to pick it up. Not there. I'm going to throw you this one. There. There you go. And now I'm going to take this one. <laughs> and I'm going to throw it to you as well. Okay, you got him. You got him, Diego. You got him. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's so funny when he does that. Enzo, catch this one as well, Enzo. <laughs> Are you going to eat them there? Take your time, Diego. Take your time. Okay, right, and then I can throw another one to Diego. Here you go, Diego. Here you go. You got three. Enzo's got three. Yeah, you guys are on a diet. Pokey, don't look. They look like birds, I know. Hey, look where's karaoke. Yeah, you show it to him once, and now he likes it there. They learn so quick. Right, let me get going. Just took a lizard from Fabrizio. I've placed him up there. I hope he's gonna make it. He might. Where is he now? There he is. We just seeing him from the bottom. They did give him a bite, but let's hope he makes it. Okay, let me feed the cats and then over to the dogs. Tomorrow we're cleaning up this leaves again. We have to. I thought I was going to be able to leave it, but there's no way. Okay, Enzo, Enzo and Diego, look at this, no, look at this, you guys broke this off from that tree and uh, it fell into the pool, so I'm thinking it's already starting to get roots, I'm going to plant it, Diego, okay, is that okay, I'm going to plant it, let's see, maybe it'll grow, okay, but it's my turn now to take a break, as the leaves are being scooped out, but look at it, Diego, do you remember breaking this thing down, or did you do it, Enzo? Come on, who did it? Okay, but don't worry, whoever did it, I'll call this tree, if it grows, Enzo or Diego. Maybe I'll call this a Enzo Diego, if it grows. Okay, but we're trying to do it as quickly as possible. We're going to be done in a few minutes. Just hang on, Diego. I know you can do it. I know you can do it, Diego. Okay, so got to take these leaves out of the pool right now. Because if we don't do it now, I'm going to have to change the water in a couple of days. So, decided the tigers are on the other side. I can quickly close them up. That opportunity does not come along often. And then we can quickly come in here, pick up the leaves, or just get it out of the water at least. And put some chlorine in. 
and we can save it for at least another two weeks. So that's what I'm doing right now, scooping out all that leaves. And you have to know how to do it. You have to go right down to the bottom, scrape it. It will go into the net with as little disturbance as possible and bring it up. Okay, I've only got one hand now, but that is the way you have to do it. And you can actually save the water. So gonna do that, get this water a little cleaner and it'll last for at least another two weeks. But this place is covered with leaves and I actually like it. But you can see how the tigers are stepping on it and crushing it. It's becoming smaller and smaller pieces every day. And they walk a little way right there through the leaves. <laughs> but yeah, let me get this done because it's already close to the end of the day. And the opportunity only came now. All the leaves are out of the pool. I put some chlorine in and we just placed the leaves on the side. We'll pick it up maybe tomorrow or the day after that. And now it is time to open up for the boys. Now they really enjoy this part. This is what Enzo is looking forward to every single time he is in here. But I'd better get out of the way quick. <laughs> Diego. And he runs straight to the pool. And just lock up here. And I'm gonna have to go get the food ready. It is ready, but this lock has been giving me trouble these days. It's really tight. So I better sort this out. I better sort this out. This is a problem for me these days. It's going in but it's not as it should be there it is but yeah both the boys in the pool enjoying that smell of chlorine they just love it and I'm hoping that we can save that water another two weeks because I can't change it every well, three weeks <laughs> Diego you don't mind about the chlorine as much as Enzo do. He really likes it. But a lot of leaves on the floor. And there's still a lot that will come from this tree. It doesn't look like a lot, but believe me, I've been through this a few times. That tree gives off exactly a thousand times more leaves than you think it will. Okay, enjoy it. Let me go get their food and next thing, tigers eating. Okay, now I'm starting something new here. I'm showing the peacocks that we are able to go upstairs. Look at this. Those little wheels in their heads are turning now. They, so he's, they don't realize they've never been up here. Pokey, hey! Come on, Pokey, come and see this. I want him to come upstairs. I have to do it sooner or later. Come on, Pokey. This is nice and high. You're going to love it up here. You're going to sleep here every night. That is what this is going to be. This is going to be the perfect place for the peacocks to sleep. I think that's going to be great. Come on, Pokey. Must I come and catch you and bring you up here? I, I'm just worried that you might fly over here. Come on. Come. Come on, Pokey. Oh, that one doesn't see his mom now. That's what that sound means. Come on, Pokey. <laughs> okay. I'll work on it, but I think this is going to be very safe for them. They like to sleep on high areas and this is the highest place that we have access to apart from tree branches and stuff. So maybe I can let them sleep here under a roof in an upstairs garden bedroom thing. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Are you at the zoo house? Let's go. Let's go meet some monkeys. Right guys, we've got a new monkey. No, it's not Jackie. <laughs> but we're rescuing this little monkey and all the others are looking. These are gonna be his new friends. Thank you, I'm gonna take it for me. Strompy! 
Yeah, he's going to be so happy over so here. Nice but Guyver? <laughs> well, he's getting to know all his little friends they are all over here. You can hear him talking to them. It'll take a while before he actually plays with him, but he will pretty soon. <laughs> well, Pokey discovered this area and he is shouting at little Piggy and poke karaoke right over there so he's still trying to figure out how this place works but i'm feeding him i don't know if he's gonna eat now he's too excited at the moment yeah you're not going down that way come on let's go let me show you where to go out of this area come on let's go <laughs> Let me push him over that side and then he can go there, fly out of here. Because if he flies out of here, he will know exactly how to get back. And they, they've been sitting there watching him, they've been calling each other all the time. Okay, let me help him over. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but we'll see. <laughs> there you go, Pokey. That way, go that way. You want to land on the roof of the house. Just gonna push him more into the right direction. If he goes there once, I don't know how he got up here. If he came up with the stairs or if he flew up here. <laughs> he is learning so much every day. So Trumpy. Oh, this is Trumpy. And he is the newest monkey that we have here at the zoo house. And he's just starting to interact with all the other monkeys. We got him yesterday and he's already, oh, making friends. Unfortunately, he does not have a tooth in his mouth. But we will work out a special diet for him and he will be happy. He is unfortunately alone since a few days ago but now we have him and we can help him to have a great life come on here it is come and get your that's where he slept last night we've got a warm electrical blanket inside there that keeps him warm but he's just getting better and better already and this is Billy who is starting to make friends with him and he's eating all his oh, grapes let me give him another one come on yeah take it i'm gonna throw this one into that right in there he saw it so you can go fetch it right there Trumpy. Trompy was the name of a character that we had here in South Africa. A little boy that was in school with his friends back in about 1981-82. And um, that name has stuck as 
a name for pets. Trompi. So, yeah, we have Trompi. <laughs> Can you believe it? Well, guys, this is the part I couldn't show you after my live. This is when everybody is having a snack, including little Layla. Yeah, she's just driving these bunnies up the wall. These are a few of the guinea pigs. The others are there, Farki and the other one. And then monkeys over here. But I'm working on the Wi-Fi system so I can come everywhere around the zoo house. So if I do a live, we can do a full tour every time. And you guys can experience what happens in real time. Well, cause that just gives you the real feel about this place. If I edit it, it's different. It's not the same thing. But let's go see quickly where's the others. We have so many here. The new one, the new little one, there's Lexi over there. But the new one, he's in the cupboard. He, I think he went to bed already. Oh no, here he is. There he goes. <laughs> but he's slowly getting used to all his friends. And they will all play along happily pretty soon. Well guys, that is it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And like always, have a great day. Oh, thank you for that.